the boating season is picking up. I can feel it. I can feel it in the emails, the messages. People are looking towards uh, the spring. They're looking to do some paddling. So what I wanted to do is kind of talk about a specific canoe that's near and dear to my heart. I mean, a lot of these boats are, but uh, specifically the Silver Birch Agent. Silver Birch Agent. Let's get into it. Like I said, this is a boat that's uh, near and dear to my heart. Um, I feel like I had somewhat of a key role in, in, in helping see that this boat gets done. Uh, for a while there, we had the Covert, we had the Covert Tandem, we had the Rebel, and we didn't really have this creek boat that, that we needed for, for steep stuff. Um, the Covert tends to want to uh, plane out a little bit which is nice on rivers because it's you, you, everything's compounding. So you stroke through a wave, you stroke through a hole, and you're planning out, and you got more speed, and uh, you're just having an absolute blast. On the steeps, you don't necessarily want the speed. Your the idea on the steeps is you don't want to wreck yourself. You know, you know what I mean? Like you, <laughs> that's that's the that's the idea. So uh, you want to stay upright, you want to be able to change direction quickly, stay dry, um, and then have time to react to stuff. So enter the Silver Birch Agent. Uh, it started off with, I remember bringing it up to Silver Birch somewhat weekly. Hey guys, we need a creaker, we need a creaker, we need a creaker. Bless their hearts, they were busy as hell and they still said, all right mate, we're going to get it done. And they put a dream team together, which was myself, Travis Overstreet, Bob McKee. I think Matt House is a part of it. Kelvin Horner was over there in the uh, in the UK helping out with us too. And um, and we came up with the general scope of okay, what we're looking for in a boat, which again is a boat that can turn on a dime, accelerate quickly, stay dry, and have the forgiveness that you need to uh to be able to deal with some of the things that you encounter out there maybe the water is muddy and you hit some kind of uh snaggle snaggle rock or you know paddle snake or rock a dial whatever you want to call it and you need that boat to kind of help you out at that point in a canoe you don't have that offside brace in a kayak and you know you could just kind of do whatever in a canoe it's you really want the help so um so we needed the forgiveness and uh, the big key about that is you start getting to these forgiving style boats. And if you start shading to too forgiving, you start getting really close to a raft and you're not really getting the feel that you need or the feel that is going to help you progress as a paddler and help you learn things. So um, it's a thin balance between forgiveness and liveliness, in my opinion. So enter the agent. Um, I'd say within a month of putting the dream team together, James had the plug done. He had two prototypes out there and I was flying over to the UK to give these things a test drive. Bob McKee was there, 80 Molly, Phil Miller, Kelvin. We had a lot of us in and out of this boat giving our opinion and the general consensus at the time was kind of, this boat is pretty much perfect. If we we're going to do anything, there's something a little, we can do something with the stability. Uh, what I think for in a canoe is these modern day canoes with all this tumble home is you should be able to dip your gunnel down into the water and still save the boat. You need that, you need that kind of forgivability. So there was a little bit of slip there, which I felt in, in previous model canoes that are out there. And it didn't, let's say have the silver birch feel at the time. I mean, I think if you look at all the silver birch boats, you could pretty much touch their gun out of the water and bring the boat back up. I mean, it's got, it's got stability the whole way around. I think that's what makes them unique. So we prototype this thing and we give them the feedback. Silver Birch makes these, uh, these subtle little changes. And in the end, we had all the stability corrected. We had the boat that we wanted and then we gained a little bit of extra speed and glide, which was great because that just aids in the flat water. It still has the same stern, 
which the stern is designed to slow the boat down on drops, kind of like bog down a little bit so you don't plane out, but it doesn't affect on flat water, which is great. Uh, it really pertains to that overall type of canoe. We don't want to have to work too hard in the flats. So the type of people or the type of boaters that are really going to get along with this boat are number one, I think your kayakers that are trying to switch over and they're saying, okay, what's a fun boat that's going to be similar feeling to my kayak and uh, allow me to progress as a canoeer. The agent's pretty much that boat. I mean, you're going to have that feel. You're going to have the forgiveness to where your strokes don't need to be where they need to be. If you need to make last minute decisions, you can easily do that because it turns and it accelerates pretty much immediately. And um, it's just going to really, uh, really allow you to have fun out there and progress without paying for it. Uh, the second category of, of boaters are going to be your class two, class three paddlers that they just want to go out there and they want to play the river and you want to grab every little eddy, every little wave. I mean, that boat's giving you uh, all you need to just work with the water and have a good time. Your third category are your shit runners, your people out there that are just running some manky stuff, super steep stuff, stuff that you really don't want to flip in. Take it from me, you just don't want to flip. And uh, if we can get help from our boats to do so, we're going to try to do that. That's, it's important. This is why this boat's been going really well is because it just basically fits such a, a wide variety of people. I mean, I've, I've seen so many different types of paddlers get in this boat and just have an absolute great time. So anyways, uh, I wanted to kind of get this out there and kind of highlight this boat a little bit because uh, I just think it's it's kind of like one of canoeing's best kept secrets right now. I mean, it's, it's, not, a, it's not a secret to everybody, but it's, you know, I don't think I mention it enough. So anyways, uh, the Silver Birch Agent, check it out. Paddle one if you can. Get a demo. There's plenty of them out, out there. I know in the Pennsylvania region, there's a lots of agents. Walk, little walk, small talk, big thoughts. Gonna tell them all just what I want. That street, two streets, I see you and me hanging on the end of swings. Count high, low, lower, and my eyes are closed. I'm the Superman and it's my show.
laughing about. 